Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another great interview series with me. Today, I have the privilege to interview Teresa Quinlan. Hi, Teresa. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for joining me. So, Teresa, she is an important emotional intelligent coach, speaker, and consultant. She's also the co-host of TNT ECQ podcast. So Teresa, tell us more about your entrepreneurship experience and what, what are the things that you overcome or any obstacles that you can share with us? Such a good question. I mean, when I, you know, when you first sort of posed that question to me, I thought about, you know, overcoming obstacles really depends on how an individual views or defines obstacles. Sometimes that can come from having expectations that are a little unrealistic or overly optimistic, sort of on the opposite ends of that spectrum. Sometimes it comes from making assumptions and then having those assumptions really floor you when reality strikes. And sometimes what I have discovered with individuals is it, it comes more so from having low self-regard, not really knowing what your strengths are. Or your weaknesses are and respecting both of those things equally mm. and I know people who have you know stepped into the entrepreneurial world and have had this lone wolf uh, behavioral uh, expression or mentality of like I am an island and therefore I will carry on without any help to be able to say that I did it yes and you know in entrepreneurship I think there's really value in exploring humility versus meekness mm -hmm in knowing that I've got these strengths yes. and I've got these talents and I have this gift that I can give to the world. And I know that I could do it as my gift. So I'm going to brand myself. Mm. I also know I'm going to need to surround myself with other people who are further along the journey of entrepreneurship yes. that I can learn from. Yeah. So my whole journey really began with paying attention to the emotional information that I was off mm. and I had peaks and valleys of that emotional information for about six months leading up to when I made the decision. So physically, I started to notice things like I wasn't sleeping as well as I used to. And I was waking up in the morning having to give myself a pep talk to start work. And those things were unusual for me. So in my mindfulness and meditation practices, mm. Uh, I started to sit with a little, little and explore bringing some logic into those emotions. The logical process helps us with the evaluation and analysis of what's going on. And it's really important to be able to sit and stay with that for a while to figure it out. Yes. And when I, when it came time for me to figure it out, I had sort of these three buckets in front of me. I can stay where I am and what I'm doing. And that would be okay. I'm not usually an okay kind of person. So it was very easy for me to go, nope, that's not going to work. <laughs> and then the second option was, well, I can shift doing the same work I'm doing, which I do enjoy and love, just on a different ship. Mm -hmm. right? And I was kind of like, eh, I, I've been there. I've been there. I've done that. I've done it successfully. It was a great career. So the third bucket was, I can pick the thing I love doing the most, most. and just do that. Mm -hmm. And when I said it out loud, I was like, well, yeah, duh. Yeah, I totally <laughs> could do that. Right. And so I communicated with my husband and my son who had been part of the discussions for the six months. Anyways, I said, you know, I'm going to need your support financially. Yeah. One of the obstacles for entrepreneurs is <laughs> <laughs> there's no guarantee. <laughs> yeah, there's no guarantee. Yeah. And so, you know, my husband and I, we had always had a 12 month buffer mm. or if any, either of us couldn't work, change jobs, whatever. We had that buffer in place. So, you know, the financial obstacle, which is a lot of people's realities, we had prepared for that years ago. And so we had that sort of buffer mm. and I never wanted to tip into or dip into that buffer and having what I believe is the plan a, this is it Do going it. for it. Yes, absolutely. And then reaching out to as many resources of people as possible to learn from and share their experience and their journey. I didn't take everyone's advice. I picked and choose what worked for me for you. and I put it into play and I'm like, well, that didn't work. Let's try something else. Well, that worked really well. Let's take that. Well, this is an evolution. So step one was good. Step two is going to be even better. 
it's mm. kind of like putting every poker in the fire. Mm. And whichever one's light, those are the ones you run with. The ones that don't, take them out, stick them in another fire and see what happens to yeah. it. Yeah. And I believe that as an entrepreneur, you need to know your values or you need to know yourself before going out. And asking for help is not a crime or it's not, you know, it's okay to ask for help because you don't know anything, you know, you don't know all the answers. Right. You don't have all the information. You have some information and hopefully yeah. the information you have is what do I love? What am I good at? Is there a potential I can get paid for this? Mm -hmm. And does somebody need it? Am I filling a gap? And I knew yes to all of those things, which helped me to feel much more confident moving forward. But why do you think that people are afraid? There's always this fear of the unknown or mm -hmm. there is, or especially the money part that you've mentioned, like it will this work with why I want to change my job that has income and do something that I love, but I don't know if it's going to work. Why do you think that that's, that's, in inner dialogue that people have before jumping in because we're supposed to <laughs> <laughs> I, are wired like that or we're salt? supposed to have that oh. yes it's yeah. an emotional experience it's just emotional information you know if we don't have it i probably more ask the question of why don't i feel a little bit of hmm, uncertainty here it's an uncertain situation you probably should feel uncertain that doesn't mean that we hold ourselves back. Well, where I think our error is in examining or self-analyzing is not that we have the emotion, is what's blocking us from moving through the emotion mm. and allowing ourselves to continue forward. Yes. So that comes to our, like, our beliefs, our values, our, our self-worth. Those can be true barriers to actually moving forward. The emotion isn't the barrier. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that, Teresa, with me. And for the audience watching for the first time, my interview series goes in different directions. So I ask Teresa one question at a time and I post them daily basis. So on the coming few weeks, you'll be with a journey with us and uh, you can pick the, the interview questions that you want to know. And please like and share. If you have any comments, please leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Teresa.